In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change the source branch in Vercel. Whether you're developing a new feature or making adjustments to a collaboration, knowing how to switch branches is crucial for managing your projects efficiently. Let's walk through it step by step to ensure you know exactly what to do. First, you'll want to navigate to your Vercel dashboard. This is your control center where you can manage all your projects with ease. Once you're logged in and on your dashboard, it's time to open the specific project for which you want to change the source branch. If you have multiple projects, make sure you select the correct one to avoid any mix-ups. Once you have your project open, the next step is to head over to the Settings menu. You'll find this by looking around the interface for the Settings option. Inside the settings, you may see a section labeled either as Environments or sometimes Git, depending on the version of Vercel you're using. Don't worry if you see one over the other. They both typically house the same settings that you need to access. Once you're in the correct settings area, you're going to focus on the section called Production Branch. Here, you'll notice a drop-down menu. This menu is where you select which branch you want your project to deploy from. You'll typically see options like Main, which is a common default branch name, but you might also see your repository's designated default branch, or even a custom branch if you've created one specifically for testing or developing new features. Carefully select the branch you want to switch to. This could be your primary branch for the main production environment or a custom branch if you have different environments set up. After you've made your selection, you'll want to click the Save button to apply your changes. It's crucial to click Save, otherwise the changes you made won't be stored and your deployments won't reflect the new branch. Once you've saved your changes, what happens next is quite straightforward yet powerful. Vercel will now listen for any new commits that are pushed to the branch you've selected. This means that subsequent deployments will be sourced from this branch, smoothly integrating any new code pushes into your live deployment with minimal fuss. By following these steps, you can easily switch branches in Vercel, allowing you greater flexibility in managing your project's deployments. I hope you found this guide helpful and you're now ready to make changes to your source branch confidently. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on getting the most out of your development tools.